Thanks. We think this is going to be a really powerful combination, bringing together Fortnite 70 million monthly active users with the power of the Unreal Editor and the new creator economy uh, to share the revenue with creators who create engaging experiences. And it's another milestone on the path to a new kind of entertainment medium, which science fiction literature calls the metaverse. Because there's a crazy amount of hype around this whole topic, I'd like to step back and take a long-term look at what we see here. And at the core of it is some very real growth, starting with Fortnite's 70 million monthly active users, Roblox's 250 million monthly active users, Minecraft's 100 million, and PUBG Mobile and Apex Legends, and numerous other metaverse inspired games is leading to an identifiable audience today of over 600 million active users in these virtual worlds. And it's on a growth trajectory that will put it at billions of users by the end of this decade. And so we can set aside the crazy hype cycle around NFTs and VR goggles. You know, these technologies may play a role in the future, but they are not required. This revolution is happening right now. And the core of it is something that every gamer already understands. It's you and your friends getting together online and going around as a group on voice chat, having a fun time, and social entertainment experiences. And some of these experiences are serious games like Battle Royale. Some of them are going to a concert and dancing or chatting with friends and just having a good time. We see this as the next big changing, change in gaming and in Epic's evolution as a company. You know, we started out back in 1991 making 2D games. Uh, we recognized the opportunity with 3D, so we built the first Unreal Engine and the first Unreal Tournament game. We evolved to make console games like Gears of War. Then we evolved to make online games like Paragon and Fortnite. But when Fortnite shipped first in 2017, it was just our game. Uh, but over time, we recognized the, audience, the opportunity to bring it to a much wider audience. So we built Fortnite Creative Mode, um, and then the Unreal Editor for Fortnite coming out now. But we see the future of this medium primarily not about Epic's work, but about the work of independent creators. And we're building towards this open metaverse from two different directions. First of all, we're taking the Fortnite audience we have and enhancing the development capabilities with the new tools and this creator economy to support everybody's work. But we're also helping developers building standalone products evolve towards building metaverse experiences themselves. The Unreal Engine is a tool for this. The Epic Game Store is a distribution vehicle for it. Epic Online Services has taken Fortnite's seven, and Epic's 700 million player accounts and 5 billion social connections and opened them up for free to all developers so they can plug into voice chat and participate in these social experiences in a very easy to use way. And all of these are on-ramps to the future metaverse. And we really think that over this decade, Today's separate apps and ecosystems are going to join together to form tomorrow's open metaverse. And you know, because the last couple of decades have been about walled gardens, walled gardens, walled gardens, let's back up and talk about how open systems have successfully come about in the past. You know, this has happened really big time back in the early 1980s and 1990s when the open internet was built. You know, back in those days, there were a bunch of closed networks at different companies and universities that couldn't talk to each other. And so the industry got together and defined open standards to connect these closed networks into one big open network. They connected email systems by putting the at sign in email addresses so people on one service could communicate with people on other services. And then they began to define open standards like JavaScript and HTML um, for the open internet so that any user could participate. And the rule at that point was that any company could connect as an equal into the system just by following the open standards. Now let's talk about what this means for the open metaverse of the future. You know, we have the opportunity to take all of these different online ecosystems for gaming, like consoles and publishers, and connect them together into a single place where anybody can talk to anybody else. We have the opportunity to turn today's game engines into tomorrow's metaverse browser engines. And if you take a look at Unreal Engine and Unity and Godot, you, know, you have some very powerful 3D engines that have an increasingly common set of features um, and are increasingly adopting industry standards as ways of communicating with each other and with other tools. There's the GLTF content standards, there's Pixar's universal scene description format, and then there are a lot of new standards bodies that have formed to help to standardize the metaverse. There's Kronos Group, there's the Metaverse Standards Forum, there's the Academy Software Foundation and the Open 3D so Foundation. And we have the opportunity for all developers to work together to define the future of this thing. 
And there's also the opportunity to connect the economies of these different ecosystems. You know, what a user would really like is to be able to buy a cool looking outfit in one place and take it everywhere they go. Um, and as we were designing this new Fortnite creator economy, one of the things we were constantly thinking about is how this could, in the future, be connected into an open metaverse economy. And there's no reason that the core model there, in which revenue from item shops are shared with creators of experience based on engagement, couldn't be turned into an economic model for the open metaverse at large, uh, with economic peering overseen by governance groups to make uh, this work in a safe way for all players. And this gets us to a really key question here, and that is, who is going to build the metaverse in the future? And we believe the answer has to be all of us together. It has to be a combination of indie game developers together with AA and AAA game developers, and Fortnite creators and Minecraft creators and Roblox creators, each bringing their best specialized knowledge to the, to the new world. And brands like Disney and Ferrari and Ralph Lauren who've already experienced the metaverse through crossovers with Fortnite, we think this is just the very beginning of a very long-term opportunity for all these companies to have a much larger presence in the digital world, um, in which it becomes a major and first-class business line for all of them. Uh, future open metaverse will be about musicians and music labels and film and television studios who are using virtual production today to build world-class photorealistic content, being able to bring it and launch it playably in the metaverse timed together with their film and television experiences in an endless stream of awesome entertainment content that's open to everybody to participate in. Now, Epic has a long history of supporting developers this way. You know, we've built a lot of different services that are available to everybody to use. There's the Unreal Engine, there's Epic Online Services, which are open to all platforms and all stores. There's the Epic Game Store, which is open to software built on all engines using all different online services. And we believe the metaverse has to be open. It can't be another Monopoly's walled garden. And Epic is all in on this. You know, we went from the, uh, you know, we went from the pandemic to the tech downturn, the crypto implosion, and now banks are failing. And it's a really crazy time again. But we're investing very heavily in the future with the belief that companies who invest now through these hard times are going to come out the strongest company in the future, the com strongest companies in the future. Some of these investments we're making in Fortnite initially and then bringing the work to Unreal Engine. Some things we're building in Unreal Engine, taking to Fortnite. But the aim is to support everything that AAA game developers are doing today and more. And this project, to build this all out into an open system, is going to take most of the decade. And that is the journey from Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 6 that will happen over this time period. It is the same journey uh, to the open metaverse. But there's no need to wait because we're doing it live. We're building all of these systems and deploying them as we build them uh, right into Unreal Engine 5, openly with partners. Uh, so we hope you'll download this stuff, download Unreal Editor for Fortnite, download the Unreal Engine and get started, and come uh, see some of our tech talks where you talk about this in way more technical detail. So thank you very much for your time.